Good morning, boys and girls. Hey, I've got some great news for you. I know you've been waiting to hear this, I'm sure. Uh, but today is our last day of e-learning for the school year. It doesn't mean it's the last day for learning because we want to keep you uh, reading and working on your math skills throughout the summer. But it is the last day for our e-learning, e-learning assignments. And so I know that uh, you're excited about that. I want to let you know that this week is going to be a rainy week. So uh, you're going to have to find some creative things to do inside, good things to do play some board games with your family uh, play some card games different things um, be creative do some artwork do some art projects look for things around the house maybe that you could uh, work to put something together I know my kids last week had to take some uh, some kind of recycled things that like paper towel rolls toilet paper rolls aluminum foil stuff like that and I uh, had to make some robots so they turned out really really cool uh, but put your mind to it and uh, be 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 very creative this week because you're not going to be able to get outside much uh, with the pouring rain all week. So at this time, if you would, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the, of the United States of America and to the republic of which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Annie, for saying the pledge for us. Appreciate your parents sending that in. And that is the last pledge that I have right now that I that I know of. I might be some in my email. I haven't checked that this morning. Uh, but parents, I would love for you to send those in uh, so I could keep that going. I do plan on continuing uh, announcements there for uh, at least another week or so. Um, several things I want to mention about tomorrow. Tomorrow is an important day. Um, from 9 until 1 o'clock, several things going on in our car line out front. Uh, please turn in any instructional packets. K through two uh, have instructional packets, uh, a lot of them. And some, some of our second graders are doing online. And then there's some three, uh, third through fifth grade students who maybe don't have internet at home and you have instructional packets. Please turn those in tomorrow. We'd appreciate it. Library books, man, they are expensive, <laughs> way more expensive than I would have thought. Um, a couple thousand dollars don't doesn't buy a whole lot of books uh, because of the kind of books we have to have to hold up in our library. So my plea to you and Miss Anderson's plea to you is please look around the house. Uh, she sent notices out to you, I believe, if your child has library books at home. We'd love to get all of those back in. We want our students to be able to check those out and read those and uh, keep our library stocked. So please look for those. Bring those by tomorrow in the car line as well textbooks we don't have a whole lot of textbooks out uh, but we have a lot more digital books some of our younger grades don't have more workbooks and they don't have a lot of textbooks but if you have a textbook at home please make sure you turn those in you can drop those off tomorrow in the car line yearbooks are in i told you that i would let you know as soon as they came so they came yesterday miss holder was here she told me that they're in i've got to go uh, find where they are and uh, start working on putting labels inside for those of you who pre-ordered. So tomorrow they'll be available for you to pick up. You'll just need to know your child's uh, teacher and then just tell us your child's last name and we'll pull those out. I do have a few extras, probably no more than 20. I have a few on a waiting list right now. Uh, they're going to kind of be a first come first serve basis in our car line. And because of um, because of our procedures right now, because of how we're handling finances, um, those will only be cash only and we need to have exact change. I won't have a money box here to make change. Uh, so the cost is $25. If you could, uh, if you want one of those yearbooks, you haven't paid for one of those yet or pre-ordered, $25 cash only and exact change would really help us out. Um, birthdays. I want to get to birthdays. Today is May 19th and wow we got a lot of birthdays on May 19th. Happy birthday to Addison Aiken, Haley Bagwell, Spencer K, um, Gabriel Massey, Henry McDougal, and Dylan Steele. And then we have one student celebrating a birthday on June 19th. That is Isaac Hall. So happy birthday to you. Uh, a little early birthday there. All right, now this week in our Positivity Project, we've been talking about gratitude. It's one of my favorite things to talk about. It's one of the things that I believe in strongly. It was the first of the five G's on our shirts this year as we talked about uh, the five G's and being geared for greatness. And I truly believe that it starts at a young age. And so parents, I want to say thank you. Uh, if you're trying to help your children 
learn to be thankful. It's you kind of have to ask them questions. You have to point things out. You have to model that for them. And that becomes part of who they are. And uh, I really think that that was important for me as a young child that my mom and dad taught me to always be thankful for what we had, to be thankful for family, to be thankful for a home, uh, to be to be thankful for uh, friends. And as I got older, I was thankful for uh, a home. I was thankful for my wife, my children, my health. Uh, so there's so many things that we could be, have, have gratitude for and be thankful for. Um, the challenge comes when things are difficult and like right now, uh, it's been hard. I'm not gonna lie to you. Nine weeks of kind of being inside quarantined, um, really for me, the hardest part is just not being able to be around and see people. I'm a people person. Um, the mall's closing down doesn't really bother me a whole lot. Going a lot of shopping, going in a lot of stores, you know, I can take it or leave it. That's not a big deal for me. But being around kids, uh, being around people and just interacting with one another, that's hard. And uh, it's easy to get down. It's easy to ha see a lot of the negatives of what's going on. Uh, but if you have an attitude of gratitude, then you have to sometimes look deeper and you can find things to be thankful for. So my question for you, and I'm going to post this video on Facebook. So parents uh, underneath in the comments, I'd love to hear what your kids say. I'm going to also do a flip grid this morning. So I'd love to interact with them. There is, you know, during this time, nine weeks that we've been out of school, kind of school closure thing here, 10 if you count um, spring break, what are you thankful for? What is it that you have? Uh, gratitude for. So I'd love to hear your answers. Love to interact with you that way. Um, again, like I said, going to be a rainy day and a rainy week. So find some things to creatively to do inside the house. Don't forget to read your 20 minutes each day. And um, so take care. We'll talk to you tomorrow.